The following past paper question reads that uh, phenochrome is an alloy of iron and chromium. So that's the first thing. So we have a substance called uh, ferrochrome, which is an alloy of uh, iron and chromium. And it then reads that ferrochrome can be dissolved in dilute sulfuric acid to produce a mixture of FeSO4 and Cr2 chromium 3 sulfate, Cr2 SO4 thrice. So uh, that ferrochrome is converted into these two substances. So I've shown what's happening over here, ferrochrome, uh, iron plus chromium, it's dissolved in sulfuric acid and it ends up producing these two solutions, uh, these two compounds in solution, FeSO4 and chromium 3 sulfate in aqua state. The question further reads that the FeSO4 reacts with chromium uh, dichromate 6, potassium dichromate 6 in acid solution according to the following equation. So what's happening now is that only the FeSO4 is then reacting with K2Cr2O7. Remember it's not, uh, it's only in acid, and in acid solution. So there's another reaction happening after the first reaction has taken place. In the second reaction, chromium 3 sulfate is not doing anything. So let's get rid of that in the second reaction. And uh, they're reacting according to the following equation. So there's an equation, reaction equation given for chro chromate 6 ions reacting with Fe2+. So I've written down the entire equation, copied the equation. Uh, so this is what's happening. And now the question reads that one, one gram of ferrochrome is dissolved in dilute sulfuric acid. So you're starting off. The quantity of ferrochrome is 1 gram. So when 1 gram of ferrochrome is dissolved uh, the, and in dilute sulfuric acid and the resulting solution titrated, this was the resulting solution. This was titrated with K2Cr2O7 and we were told that only FeSO4 is reacting with K2Cr2O7, not the chromium 3 sulfate. Uh, and the quantity required for complete reaction is also given. It's 13.1 cm cube of 0.1 mole per decimeter cube potassium dichromate 6. So what we know is that when the second reaction takes place, the amount of uh, the volume of uh, chromate 6 ions is 13.1 cm cube. And the concentration of this solution is also given at 0.1 mole per decimeter cube. So this is also provided. And you are finally being asked to find what is the percentage by mass of Fe in the sample of ferrochrome. So we need to find the mass of Fe in this sample of ferrochrome. One gram sample, which is a, which is the uh, sum of the mass of Fe and chromium in it. We need to find the mass of just Fe in it. So I'm going to start at this point over here and first find the moles of chromate 6 ions because I'm given the volume and the concentration. So the formula of moles for uh, is concentration multiplied by volume over here the concentration is 0.1 mole per decimeter cube the volume is 13.1 cm cube and i'm going to divide that by 1000 because it should be in dm cube and the answer that i'm going to get is going to be 1.31 times 10 to the power minus 3 moles of chromate 6 ions now once i have found the moles of uh, uh, chromate 6 ions uh, it's very easy to find the moles of iron 2 plus ions because the ratio is 1 ratio 6. So 1 chromate ion is reacting with 6 Fe2 plus ions. So if the moles of chromate 6 are 1.31 times 10 to the power minus 3 moles, then the moles of Fe2 plus are going to be 6 times that amount. So the moles of Fe2 plus, they are coming out to be equal to 1.31 times 10 to the power minus 3 moles multiplied by 6 and the answer that I'm going to get is going to be 0 0.00786 moles of Fe2+. plus. Now the very last thing is we have found the moles of iron ions which are coming out to be 0 0.00786 moles. Now where were all the iron ions coming from? They were coming from the iron atoms that were in ferrochrome. So the amount of iron moles, uh, the moles of Fe2+, plus and the moles of iron are going to be exactly the same because all the iron ions that were reacting with dichromate 6 eventually came from this ferrochrome. So we have the moles of Fe. Uh, the moles of Fe are point, uh, so the moles of iron Fe atoms is also going to be equal to 0 0.00786 moles. So to find the percentage mass of Fe in ferrochrome, we need to find the mass of Fe first. Now mass of Fe is going to be equal to 
the moles of Fe multiplied by multiplied 0 0.00786 multiplied by the AR of Fe which is 55.8 so moles is equal to mass is equal to moles multiplied by by the AR of Fe and this value comes out to be equal to 0 0.43 Eight five eight eight moles, and if you round it to three significant figures, this value comes up to out to be zero point four three point nine zero point four three nine grams, and I need to find the percentage now. So it's the mass of Fe which is coming out to be zero point four three nine grams divided by. Uh, the total mass of the ferrochrome which was 1 gram. So out of this 1 gram of ferrochrome the mass of Fe came out to be 0.439 grams. So the percentage is going to be 0 0.439 which is the mass of Fe divided by 1 gram into 100 and this comes out to be equal to 43.9 percent. So the, so the mass percentage mass of Fe in ferrochrome is going to be it's going to be the correct option is going to be option D.